Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to start from the HLMT 23 tag. All you have to do is click up here and type HLMT 23 and press enter. Initially, they are sorted by relevance. Today, though, we want to sort by recent. And I want to quickly chat about link recovery. Friends, this is the fun Tinkercad Keep the Chain Going project. Of course, this tutorial will be here in a minute, and I'll have a link to the master project. Of course, the project is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Now the project goes like this. We are going to cut a link, and you're going to cut your text leave them separate, and then simply share it back to me as a public design. You can make your link of a single color, just bring it out, and then when it is inside the box and larger than the link, notice we can test it right here, you simply select those, do L for align, and choose center, center, and I always like to remind you, it's easier to see this one from a corner and center. When you select those two, notice it says two shapes and do control G, you will have your new awesome link. Notice you can also click on it right there and you could change the color just like that. Friends, if you want to make yours with an awesome gradient, let me show you that quickly too. I'm going to do control D, shift nudge to move this up here. And then I do need to ungroup it. You can use the ungroup button or control shift G. I'm going to delete this one and we're going to search for a gradient. You can do it here or you can do it in the gallery. Once you type gradient and press enter, you do need to spell it correctly. There's gradient. Bring out one that you think is cool. I'm going to use this one right here. Cruise it to the ground. Of course, we've got to make it small enough to fit in the box. Select the two. L for a line. Choose the master. Center, center, and center. And of course, control G to make your fantastic link. How cool is that? Of course, now we need to add some text. Let me show you quickly how to do that. You can bring out this text right here. If you set it on top of the block, it lays flat. Change the text to what you want. I'm going to do HLMT. And now we can move it out to our shape. When we get it close, I'm going to do Control down arrow to move it in. And then we're going to use Alt Shift to shrink it so it fits. Notice you have to drag it around and once again, Shift Squeeze or Alt Shift Squeeze to get it so it fits perfectly. One thing you can do is change the numbers to like 0.25 so you can be more precise. Make sure it pokes out. And then I'm gonna do L for a line. If you want your words to be on the top, let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna just click on those words and do Control D, nudge it out, and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay in the middle, it's just four clicks. If you come outside, it's one degree at a time. If you hold down shift, it's two clicks to get it over there. To line this one up, I'm going to shift select. Do L for a line, make the length the boss. I want to come to this edge, and I want to make it in the middle. That looks pretty groovy. I do want to make sure it pokes out a little further. Make sure this one nudges to the middle of the link that way. And then here comes the fun part of the text cutter. Click on your link and lock it. That way it doesn't get grouped. It keeps this less complex. But now we can shift select, choose L for a line, and make the link the boss center center, course center. And then we can grab all four and do control G to group it. Notice when it finishes, there are still two shapes. The locked link did not get grouped. You can see there is our text. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna do control up so it raises up one chunk. And that looks fantastic on that side. I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna use the arrow key to move it one chunk out. Friends, that is it. You have made a fun, fantastic link. If you want to choose other text, I will show you. You can search for the word text to find other options. You can also find one of my favorites by typing script and pressing enter. This one is really nifty because it has several styles you can pick from. But friends, when you are finished, all you have to do is share this with me. It is so simple. 
click up here on the Tinkercad workspace button, click on the gear and the properties. Of course, in the description, you can add links to this so it helps other users find it. And then to make it so I can see it, make sure you type HLMT23 as one of the tags. Of course, also adding chain or keep the chain going is a good idea. Finally, you do need to make it public. Make sure you prove you're not a robot. And of course, leave it as share alike so that I can copy it and add it to the master project. If you haven't checked it out lately, we are at 89 links, minus, of course, the ones that we're trying to get replaced. Of course, friends, we are trying to get to 100 awesome links. Once again, friends, thanks for watching. Have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.